Uh, hello guys, in this video I will show you the autosomal DNA results of two Minoans from Greece uh, who lived in Greece before the Indo-Europeans arrived there. So these are like the ancestors of Greeks, uh, the ancestors of a lot of people, ancestors of some Turks as well, but uh, basically these people had no Indo-European ancestry and they were pretty much uh, indigenous European farmers, a very interesting civilization. Of the two people that this video is about, the first is going to be a man. He had this uh, DNA, Y-DNA, J2A, which is nowadays most common in the Caucasus. With my Nashakotu, he's predicted to have black hair, uh, brown eyes, not dark brown eyes, but brown and dark brown are kind of evenly split. Uh, brown is 46.7% and dark brown is 45%. Uh, he's ironically not predicted to have a Greek nose. And he did not have any of the blue eye haplotypes, did not have BH1, did not have BH2 or BH3. His genotype in DRD2 was very, very interesting. Basically, in the Pro 319 Pro, he scores um, TT, which is like AA, which means uh, no go learner, which means uh, less dopamine D2 receptors. It's a very typical genotype for Europeans and very atypical for everybody else outside of Europe. He was heterozygous for the warrior gene, which means one warrior allele and one uh, non-warrior allele. I can't say whether or not he had the sociopath gene, because for one of these variations, he's uh, homogeneous, homozygous for uh, having the sociopath gene, and then for another variation, he's uh, homozygous for not having it. So I don't know what his phenotype was in terms of how much empathy he had. He did not have the European lactose persistence mutation and was likely lactose intolerant as an adult. He did not have derived EDAR, which might have been obvious for anybody, but since I'm making this video, why not include this fact? Uh, EDAR is a gene implicated in Mongoloid or East Asian phenotype, and he did not have this gene. According to his genotype, uh, he had an above average risk of Crohn's disease, he had an above average risk of coronary heart disease, he also had an above average risk of Parkinson's disease, uh, he had an average or slightly below average of type 1 diabetes, uh, he had a below average risk for schizophrenia, and he had a average risk for bipolar disorder. Moving on to GD match, this is what he scores with Eurogenes K13. Now notice that he does not score anything from the Baltic category. Uh, the Baltic category on this calculator represents Northeast European genetic drift, like Baltic, lit literally Baltic genetic drift. Uh, modern Greeks tend to score around 20% of this category, but this individual from Greece uh, is scoring none of it. With the Oracle, he can be modeled as a mixture of uh, Sardinian and something from the Levant. Uh, this is what he scores with Eurogenes K36. What's interesting is that his Y DNA is J2A, uh, which is most typical in the Northern Caucasus, but he's not scoring any Northern Caucasus on this calculator. Instead, he's scoring uh, mostly Italian, followed by West Mediterranean and East Mediterranean. Here's his result with MDLP K16, and I was not expecting him to score anything from Northeast Europe, but he actually did score 1.5% of Northeast European, uh, which might be either like noise, or it might be due to some Western hunter-gatherer admixture that was present in the farmers of Europe. Uh, the oracle for this calculator is modeling him basically as a mixture of Sardinian and Turkish or Armenian or Cypriot. Uh, as you can see, the distance is pretty high, so it's maybe not such a good model. And this is what he scores with the MDLPK11 calculator. Notice how he's scoring 17.5% EHG. You might be thinking, well, that's not right. Uh, even modern Greeks don't have this much EHG. Yes, uh, that's because this cal on this calculator, this component does not represent Eastern hunter-gatherers. It's representing uh, Caucasus hunter-gatherers. So this person had not 17% EHG, but 17% Caucasus-related admixture. And with the Oracle for MDLPK11, he's modeled as a mixture of either a German Stuttgart, which is basically like European farmer, or Anatolian Neolithic farmer, plus uh, Iran Chalcolithic. So I'm thinking maybe these Minoans had a little bit of uh, Iran Chalcolithic admixture. Here is his result with Harappa World. Notice how he's scoring 4% Northeast Euro, uh, which is... Um, Interesting, I think it's from Western hunter-gatherer admixture, and also he's not scoring any baloch. So the previous calculator showed that he had 17% Caucasus-related admixture, but he's not scoring anything from baloch. So maybe his Caucasus admixture was more of um, had more of a East Mediterranean drift rather than a Western Asian or Iranian farmer drift. The Oracle for Harappa world is basically modeling him as like a mixture of Drusia and Sardinia. Drusia is a group in the Middle East and Sardinian 
or Cypriot and Sardinian, so basically a mixture of Eastern, Mediterranean and Sardinian. Uh, with the Oracle for G25, and there are publicly av available G25 coordinates for this sample, uh, with the G25 he's closest to like Greek Islanders, Sardinians, and with the Oracle uh, for multiple mixed mode population Oracle, he's a mixture of basically Sardinians with something from Eastern Mediterranean area like Samaritans from Israel or Greeks from Central Anatolia or Cypriots. Uh, let's move on to the second sample. The second sample is a girl. Uh, she had mitochondrial DNA H, which doesn't tell me anything. I haven't never studied mitochondrial DNA. If you know what the implications of this mitochondrial DNA, where it's most common today, uh, leave that in the comments. With Maina Shakoto, she's predicted to have brown or hazel eyes. Brown is coming in at 35% uh, and hazel at 34.7%, so they're kind of even. Uh, she had BEH1, so she had two derived alleles for uh, for the BEH1 mutations, which are basically blue eye haplotype 1. She had one derived allele in BEH2 mutation, which is the mutation that 23andMe looks for to determine eye color, and she did not have the BEH3 mutation, so she had no derived alleles in BEH3. Uh, this is kind of... Well, what this says, the implications of this, is that uh, if there was another, say, man who had the same genotype as her, uh, she could have had a child who had two derived alleles in BEH2. And 23andMe would actually predict that child as having blue eyes. Just like the previous sample, she also had a very European genotype in DRD2, uh, basically a no-go learner with a lower amount of dopamine D2 receptors. According to her genotype in this variation in COMT, she was a warrior with the IO, which means uh, quicker reuptake of dopamine, which means less dopamine in the system at any time, which means uh, basically better stress resilience. She did not have the sociopath gene. She also did not have EDAR, which is a gene implicated in mongoloid or East Asian facial features, so no mongoloid or uh, East Asian facial features for her. She did not have the European lactose persistence allele and was most likely lactose intolerant. She had an above average genetic risk score for Crohn's disease. She had an above average risk score for coronary heart disease. Uh, she had an average risk score for type 2 diabetes. She had a below average risk score for schizophrenia. Uh, she had a average risk score for bipolar disorder. And she had a below average risk score for Parkinson's disease. And here's what she scores with Eurogene's K13. Now notice the complete lack of Baltic. And actually she has more West Asian than the previous sample because she has 8.8% West Asian, uh, whereas the previous sample had 6 point something. So she's got more West Asian-like uh, drift or admixture, you could say. With the Oracle, she's basically a mixture of like Sardinian and Lebanese or like Drusia or Christian plus Sardinian or Samarit, Samaritan, which is uh, in Israel. So basically a mixture of Eastern Mediterranean and uh, Sardinian. This is her result with Eurogenes K36. This is actually a lot more diverse than the, um, the previous result. Uh, what can I notice here? I can notice that she's scoring a little bit of French and Iberian, which are kind of, uh, they strike me as Northern components, but she had them. Here's her result with MDLPK11, and in this calculator she's scoring 18.5% CHG, which is more than the previous, uh, the previous sample. She's also scoring 1% Iranian Mesolithic, uh, so this is probably why she got more West Asian on Eurogenes K13 than the previous sample. Uh, this is the oracle for MDLPK11, and it's also modeling her as a mixture of basically like LBK, which is European farmer, or Anatolian Neolithic plus Iranian Chalcolithic. And here's her result with MDLPK16. What's interesting is she's not scoring any Northeast European, unlike the previous sample. Instead of Northeast European, she's scoring 5% step, which I also don't have an explanation for where she got this 5% step admixture from. The oracle for this calculator is modeling her as a mixture of like Cypriot and Sardinian, or Sardinian plus Jewish, or Sardinian plus Armenian, or Sardinian plus Drusia, which is a group in uh, Israel. Uh, this is her result with Gedrosia K3, uh, very much pure West Eurasian, like 97% West Eurasian, which is much more than even uh, the, like when I made videos on the pitted wear culture people, I think they scored like 90% West Eurasian, so this person was more Caucasoid or more West Eurasian than uh, hunter-gatherers in Sweden. Here's her result with Ancient Eurasia K6, and you can probably spot uh, that she scores a little bit of ancestral North Eurasian, 13% A&E. Uh, this ancestral North Eurasian ancestry that she has, she did not get from, uh, she did not get from Eastern hunter-gatherers. She got this ancestry from Caucasus-related blood. 
And with the Oracle, she's basically a mixture of Anatolia and Neolithic plus uh, something from Iran or maybe Kurds. Uh, so uh, very much the same as we've seen with other calculators. And here is who the sample is closest to with G25. You can see it's closest to Sardinians and once again like uh, Greek islanders uh, and also South South Italians like Campania I think is southeast of Italy. I'm not sure if it's southeast or southwest but I know it's south. And for the mixed mode oracle with G25 she's basically a mixture of like Sardinians and Cypriots or Sardinians and Palestinians and Samari Samaritans. But um, listen, if you're getting a fit of like 0.07 on G25 that means it's probably not a good model. So even though she's modeled as a mixture of all that, uh, it's probably not very close to this mixture. Thank you guys for watching until the end. You can download both of these files in 23andMe format from link in the description. I basically just leave the files for all the videos in the, in the description because like this lets you explore some of the SNPs that you might be interested in, like you're interested in some disease and you want to find out if this uh, sample had this disease, you can look it up uh, with the raw file. So you can also just upload them to GED match or whatever. Uh, so do whatever you want. Uh, but leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I will make more videos in the future.